Welcome to day three of Summer of the City 2018. I'm here with these people. Hello. Oh, my most wonderful Bob Corp. <laughs> wonderful Bob Corp. And he's back in this wonderful shirt again. Yep, four years running now. Sorry, I'm going to try and get you in the frame there. Um, how are you all feeling about today? I'm very tired, very achy, my throat is dry, and I really need a nap. Genuinely sane. <laughs> that, like, that is the spirit, yes. I it's what this he does to you. Oh, yeah, but it happens once a year for no reason. It has occurred to me that Bob and Daniel J. Leighton, I believe, are the only two people that I've met here for three years in a row. Which is crazy to think, but that's the way things go sometimes, you know? People's circumstances are very different. Things can get a little crazy. Speaking of which, here's a bit of Bacon and Flayton live. Oh! That's not cooked, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> so my cookbook will hit the shelves <laughs> in September. Uh, hope you like it. Uh, good. We still have time. Love that. Absolutely hilarious. Things got a little bit crazy. I managed to find a wooden stroke cardboard knife that I was able to hand over to Dan to help me cut open some butter. Way better that than using a Navy mask. Um, I'm sorry. I'm still laughing at that. <laughs> I think that's the problem. It's like not knowing what's enough. And I think you kind of get caught up in it as well. And that's when you kind of end up sharing too much or if you share too little. And it is a thing, like if you don't share enough, people are going to be like, oh, you're not genuine or you're not this because you didn't show this. Um, so I think that is that is the problem. Like that's what I find really hard as a creator myself. And I think you're always gonna go too far one way or another. Like that's gonna happen. We're just humans, and sometimes we may share a bit too much or not enough. But I think it's all about trial and error, and um, just just have have a brain about you, and th and think about what you do. And if you do share a bit too much once or twice, fine. That's like, not the end of the world. If you're doing it every single time then I'm sure your viewers will tell you but you're not going to hit that golden spot straight away you might not do it in 10 years of vlogging but just just think about it and you'll, you'll be grand. I think it's very different for each creator because I know some creators who are completely different in person and their online persona is a character or like um, yeah a character um, so I think for me I like to share things I know for some people they don't like to share things um, so I really think it depends on the creator um, for sure, because I think everyone, no one's perfect, but everyone can have their perfect amount for themselves. Um, so some supporters might think they're oversharing, some might think they're undersharing. So I think you can never find the right amount, really, you know? Yeah, I, I try to kind of like follow suit of creators that I really like and appreciate. So the, like I have my favorite creators, and I'm like, well, what, what level do they do? Do I feel like I need to know more about them? And if not, then that's kind of the right level. I feel close enough to them that I'm like, oh, I kind of get them, but they're not my, my best mate, whatever. Um, and yeah, it's just like finding that kind of middle ground that's suitable for you, really. Yeah, no, I feel like it's a hard one because I dated on for two and a half years, and I, I don't know. <laughs> no, it got to the point where I was like, I've got to stop doing this because I'm not me anymore. You start, instead of vlogging your life, you start living for the vlog, which, yeah, and it's just, it's not. And it's not you anymore and it got to the point where it's like you've got to stop and reassess and find yourself again which is it's a really hard thing too but then it's all about so for me my channel is pretty much my life so it's sharing things that i love and my daily life and i don't think i could have lasted two and a half years had it been a topic like baking or something like that i, I would have been so dumb so i feel like it's all about doing something you love and building on that you hate baking <laughs> no i love baking but i couldn't do it every day Miranda! Oh, hey. <laughs> I didn't expect to see you on the small creators panel today. Yeah, I didn't but expect there you to see myself uh, either. It was um, pretty nuts. Although making my videos don't get all the views in the world like a large YouTuber does, I always benefit from having the comments that are left from the, you know, the long term uh, sort of supporters that I have because it honestly means the world and it really is something that helps keep you going. Uh, I don't know about any of you, but Nice, 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 nice,
say I'm absolutely delighted for you. Oh, How did you. it feel? It was pretty overwhelming at times, but honestly, once you're there, the adrenaline just kicks in and you just, you absolutely enjoy it. And the people there were amazing. The whole crowd was fantastic. So, highly recommend it. If you come to Sitsi again, come to the small tube, the greatest panel. This is really, really fun. It's always a great panel, to be honest. Absolutely. It's great to see you as oh, always. Thank you. It's good to see you as well. That is Brandon Wisdom, a creator I met at Sitsi last year. Great YouTuber and all around good guy. Genuinely wasn't expecting to see him on the small creator panel until he turned up there, which was surreal but awesome. So great to see him again. You know, one thing that tends to get lost in the starstruck nature of the YouTube community is that popularity is relative. So a small creator may actually be very big to you. And similarly, just because someone is a big creator, doesn't mean they don't have to push boxes down the corridor or drag them along like I've actually seen Tom Scott and Doug Armstrong do just a short time ago. Popularity is relative, isn't it? Three panels in a row, then Sitsi Awards, and then final main stage acts. We're coming to a close, people. Summer in the City 2018 has come to an end. Uh, stay tuned to my channel for a full post-match analysis at some point during the week. In the meantime, thank you to all the staffers, volunteers and attendees who helped make this year's Summer in the City the great event that it has been. And for me, thank you for watching. Whatever you do, wherever you are, I hope you have a great week. And I'll see you again soon, hopefully. Bye for now.